Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Crashy, and today we're going to be doing our quick first impressions, but mainly our build guide for Sylveon. Now this character was recently, recently released, and I played a ton of it on stream, and I've got some pretty good opinions. So let's quickly do like a first, uh, you know, first impressions, first kind of thoughts roundup in terms of the character. I think that this character is incredibly strong, probably overtuned, feels insane in the jungle, feels insane in the lane, scales really well well, has good stats, has good ability scalings, and has some good build diversity as well as really strong abilities. So that's my first impressions. I think the character feels phenomenal, is really fluid, has a very unique style of play in terms of the actual attacker role. Like people have been asking me like, oh, does it compare to Cinderace? Does it compare to Cram? It's a very, very unique style of play and I really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and jump into the build. So Let's talk about the abilities. First and foremost, my favorite build set right now is Mystical Fire and Calm Mind. I feel like the the movement, the fluidity of these two abilities, like popping the Calm Mind, using it for damage, or trying to use it as a defensive cooldown, and then running around and repositioning with Mystical Fire and doing the damage you want to do, being like real speedster-esque, but like a mage speedster in this game, like a Pokemon that's like nine tails mixed with Absol feels so cool to me and I really really enjoy this particular ability combination now the kiss ability which I can't think of the full name that's the only ability I didn't really care for in my testing but I actually think that all of Sylveon's other abilities are entirely viable entirely good uh, but it just so happens that calm mind and mystical fire are the ones that I'm preferring right now okay <laughs> so build wise I think that this character has a few viable builds and I want to kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, as far as itemization goes, I think that you have to look into it subjectively and then make a choice about how you want to play it. So lately, the way I've been playing it is Wise Glasses, Focus Band, and Buddy Barrier. This is a very standard, strong, defensive-leaning kind of page, or defensive-leaning kind of build for a character that is incredibly strong and relies on moving around and repositioning. I have been really, really enjoying this. I do think that it's important to note that through testing, if you're looking to just do more damage as a blanket, kind of understanding of how you can just do more damage, then running a single SP item build you will get more damage out of choice specs but it changes the way that the damage comes out because if you're running a choice specs build your damage on like mystical fire is going to come out in burst on the first hit of the mystical fire if you're running a wise glasses one damage item build you're going to do more damage spread out overall like over all of your things that you're doing everything that you're doing is going to do more damage but in general you're going to bring less damage overall because there's more damage in the choice choice specs burst that comes out um that happens on like the first hit of mystical fire or like your first attack or, or you know the first like the first thing that you hit uh versus having uh just additional damage with everything you do with wise specs or wise glasses so that's kind of confusing but so here let me i'm going to quickly spit out a bunch of builds my build like i said wise glasses focus band buddy barrier but i'm going to spit out some builds you can do wise glasses choice specs focus band wise glasses choice specs buddy barrier you can do something really aggressive if you want to wise glasses choice specs muscle band i don't really prefer that one too much but it is something that's going to be technically kind of thrown out there um you can go choice specs focus band buddy barrier you can go choice specs um I, I don't know. Um, if you're doing like a laning, we have Coco on our five man roster has been playing Sylveon in lane. He's been going special attack specs and I believe maybe choice specs or wise glasses and score shield. So he's leaning into laning kind of like a Lucario style where he's looking to stack up and get that damage and, and get kind of more damage for himself overall. So this character has a lot of builds. I'm telling you that my build, the way that I like to play it, my in and out kind of style of play where I do want to feel more defensive, it's still bringing me a ton of damage, is just that standard kind of comfortable page, wise glasses, focus band, buddy barrier. And I think that you can kind of test a bunch of these out, really feel it out. I don't think that there's, I don't really think that there's one that's just like, oh yeah, that is the, the best build. But if there was going to be one, it would probably be the safe build where you're just doing the focus band buddy barrier with like a damage item because, you know, it brings the survivability and you're still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. 
As for playing the character, the way you want to play the character is essentially you want to try to get that 8 and influence the game as strong as possible. If you're using Calm Mind and Mystical Fire, this build is all about your positioning, where you're standing, who are you getting close to when you pop that Mystical Fire, how are you using the Calm Mind. At level 12, it gives you that ability to use it as like a defensive cooldown. That's really, really important to know. So make sure you studied up on that Mystical Fire and that Calm Mind. Are you going to be using it together to get more damage output? Who are you chasing after? This character, I think, has... Uh, the need for a little bit more heightened game sense in order to perform really well. Otherwise, you could find yourself out of position and potentially getting taken down for it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the character. I find this character to be insanely strong in the jungle. I find this character to be insanely strong in the lane. And I think that when it comes to, well, what's better? Is the character better in lane or better in jungle? I've been getting that question as well. To me, it feels like it's going to come down to team composition and or your personal play style. If you're playing in five mans, it's going to come down to the team's team comp and how you want to play. If you're playing solo queue, realistically, you can do whatever you want. You can put it in the lane. You can go top, bottom lane. You can go mid center. Um, this character is going to benefit it, you're gonna bring value to the team you're getting your ultimate incredibly fast at level eight and the ultimate don't be afraid to dive in there it's gonna bring you a lot of sustain a lot of survivability it's gonna give you some damage and it's gonna keep you moving and like I said positioning properly and doing a ton of damage so friends there you have it let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below a nice short and sweet guide for you on Sylveon how the way I've been playing it I love this character as a jungler I love this character as a laner it's a phenomenal character design wise might be a little over tuned numbers wise uh, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments if you're new to the channel definitely drop a like and subscribe as I would love to have you and I would love to have you on future Unite content in terms of commenting. Drop me a, you know, drop, you know, drop a comment. Give me that, that YouTube algorithm. Give me that 100% watch time if you could, would be so kind. That's the best way to support me. Um, oh, I do want to throw this out there as well if you've made it this far. Um, any of the channel members that are the veteran membership, and this is like a Twitch sub or like supporting the channel financially, it, you can get a... VOD review from me one time per month if you are that membership you just got to message me we'll set it up and then we can turn that into either some personalized content for you to look at a VOD review from my perspective or a video on the channel so as always be sure to be kind to one another tell someone that you love them and I'll see you on the next video